Researchers have identified a stable, gas-venting magma cap beneath Yellowstone, reducing eruption risk and advancing subsurface imaging techniques for broader geological applications. Beneath the steaming geysers and bubbling mud pots of Yellowstone National Park lies one of the world's most closely monitored volcanic systems. A recent study published in Nature offers new insights into how this powerful system functions and what may prevent it from erupting. Researchers from Rice University, the University of New Mexico, the University of Utah, and the University of Texas at Dallas have identified a distinct, volatile-rich magma layer just 3.8 kilometers below Yellowstone's surface. This layer acts as a cap, effectively trapping heat and pressure beneath it. Using advanced controlled source seismic imaging and high-resolution computer modeling, the team found that the magma reservoir is actively releasing gases while remaining stable. The study, led by Ching Long Duan and Brandon Schmant of Rice University, sheds new light on the movement of magma, gases, and fluids within Earth's crust. The research was supported by the National Science Foundation. For decades, we've known there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary has been a big question, Sishman, professor of Earth, Environmental, and Planetary Sciences. What we found is that this reservoir hasn't shut down. It's been sitting there for a couple million years, but it's still dynamic. Previous studies suggested the top of Yellowstone's magma system could lie anywhere from three to eight kilometers deep, an uncertainty that left geologists debating how the magma system today compares with conditions before prior eruptions. That changed after Schmack conducted a high-resolution seismic survey in the northeastern part of the caldera. A 53,000-pound vibrosis truck typically used for oil and gas exploration essentially generated tiny earthquakes to send seismic waves into the ground. These waves reflected off subsurface layers and were recorded at the surface, revealing the sharp boundary at about 3.8 kilometers depth. The motivation behind my research is to advance structural seismic imaging beyond the limits of conventional travel time methods, said Duan, a postdoctoral research associate. Using a wave equation imaging technique I developed during my PhD for irregular seismic data, we made one of the first super clear images of the top of the magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone Caldera. 